Welcome to Las Vegas. I am a teeny bit excited right now, a bit of a fanboy moment coming up as today I am joining none other than Will I Am to head out for a drive in the EQE 53 SUV to discover the new MBUX Sound Drive. Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on a colder than expected afternoon here in Nevada. Behind me, the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's CES 2024 and we've just seen the launch of the Will I Am and Mercedes AMG collaboration that this car literally makes music as you drive. To put my excitement in context, the first concert that I ever bought tickets to was to go and see the Black Eyed Peas at the O2 in London a while back. But Will I Am is going to be showing us this new project. Having created the Will I AMG, this crazy concept using Will's love of customizing cars, he's now created a new project with Mercedes AMG to produce music from the car as you drive. Instead of playing a piano or strumming a guitar, the idea is that your inputs, your steering, your brake and pedal pressure the suspension are creating music as you go. We're going to be finding out a lot about this. On paper, it makes no sense, but I'm going to bring you along for the journey as we discover it right now. Before we get fully into all of the details, to give you a very quick introduction, you can see here, and you can now hear, Imagine Will I Am with the sound drive. Now, to explain it all, I think Will is the best placed, so he should be here in just a minute or two to say hello, and then we're going out for a drive together in the EQE. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Very good. Great to meet you. Great to be here. Exciting to see this out in the world. Um, I, I don't know if I want to cry right now or jump up for, for joy and run around all of Las Vegas screaming. <laughs> I'm like in a mixed emotion because I'm super emotional and excited, and proud that the two years of work that we've been doing to bring Sound Drive to life and the hush-hush that we had to <laughs> yeah. do during the two years is now a reality. We're here in Vegas at CES. I'm looking at this booth with the sound drive, you know, insignia there. And all this stuff came out of my head. Yeah. The logo, the advert, the technology, the assembling of the team, and to have Mercedes trust to assemble the team and then them vet my engineers. <laughs> to then work hand in hand with their engineers, to unearth it, to get ready, we're moments away from deploying it for it's available for drivers and AMGs. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I want to cry. It's like, it's amazing, you know? It's super cool. Well, I gather we're about to hop out in this car, learn the ropes, understand a bit more about this. Yeah. Should we hop in? Go Let's do go. it, go yeah. find out about it. Here we are then. So, we're straight into it. Thanks for making time. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for this opportunity. This is super exciting. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for all the wonderful videos you make on cars for us, <laughs> well, yeah, car enthusiasts. Trust me, it's and, a pleasure. Uh, to have you cover Sound Drive um, is an absolute honor. Well, I love it. I, I was just saying on the video that 15 years ago, I came to see you guys at the O2 in London. Don't know if you remember that, way back. First concert tickets I'd ever bought in my life. No way. Yep. So, <laughs> super excited to be here with, oh, you, with you. you right now. Um, wow, 15 yeah. years ago, that was, I was like 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so and I, I had to ask my mom to go on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lies, so, lies, lies, lies. What are we listening to? How, how's this working? What's going on? So this is Sound Drive. What you're hearing right now is idle. Yep. So this is what it sounds like when the car is steel all right so what we what we've done we've we taken the sensors from the car the gyros accelerometer the position of the car it's being sent to an audio engine as well as the accelerator and the brake the steering wheel and the suspension and gps okay why is that important and the in this new renaissance music is composed rearranged and made by simply driving. And the instrument and orchestra is the car. The conductor is you, the driver. Yeah. And every single commute and drive will create something different. Right now I have my, um, my foot on the pedal, on the brake. Yeah. That is acceleration. Okay. Yeah. So instead of vroom, vroom, it is 
in tune with the key of the car. I put it in drive. And it starts to creep. You start hearing the song build. Check this out. Okay. You clearly have a great relationship with Mercedes and AMG. Mm. Where did that start? Like, have Mercedes, has it always been Mercedes for you? Is that, is that kind of a... a no, thing? I've been working with Mercedes as an ambassador for four years. Okay. So it started off like any traditional ambassadorship. You do some posts. Um, in 2020, March 15th is when I got greenlit to be an ambassador, which is my birthday, which is awesome. Oh, <laughs> amazing. We did a video. And the CEO at the time, Philip, noticed that I made cars. Yeah. He was like, hey, Will customizes and builds cars from scratch. Let's highlight, highlight that in the video. I was like, wow, they, wanna re they really wanna dig into like my love for vehicles. And at the time I made um, the Thundervet, the Blue Monster, the DeLorean, and the, the Black Rocket, and the Spaceship. So I made five cars from scratch. Yep. And so Mercedes was like, hey, we, we, we were after we did the video, they were like, we're curious to see if, how would you reimagine a Mercedes car? Yep. I'm like, there's no way. You <laughs> this is turning That's into right. like, what? You want me to reimagine a Mercedes car? And they're like, yeah, but you have to build it. We're not paying for you to build it. Okay. We'll give you a car to reimagine. However you made your other ones, it's on you. So then I put a team together. I said, well, what if I use this build and then auction the car off so I could use that money to build robotic centers in inner cities? So they thought I was gonna like paint it, change a little bit of the like interior. Yeah. But I took a four door, turned it into a two door, yeah. elongated the front hood. It was called a um, Will I AMG. They saw that I was able to put teams together, had engineering chops, um, software chops, um, as far as team assembly. And so they started inviting me over to Stuttgart for brainstorming sessions. And one of those brainstorming sessions was to check out the EQS and the uh, simulated VA experience. I asked them, how do you simulate gravity pushing down on the engine? Because that's what happens in a V8. Yep. There's these subtle nuances that no one really could pay attention to, but it's there if they really focused on it. If you're driving 20 miles an hour and you turn a corner, the engine slightly wobbles or there's like an oscillation. And so as while I pointed that out, I told them the solution to it. It's like, hey, if you give me your signals, I could aim that to a sound generation engine and I can oscillate in okay. real time, but I also need you to increase the CPU. So like, well, we're interested to see if you could pull that off. So they sent the car. I put a team together to execute that demo. After I finished doing that, I displayed it to Marcus and Ola. They greenlit that demo to be productized. So you would think that this was Spotify or some DSP or Apple Music. They're playing a two, channel song meaning left and right mm -hmm. and here we are playing a multi-channel file yeah. so this is a, a, a hyper dimensional player yeah so we not only change how you make music and the experience of listening to music to do that you have to change the system that is playing the music manipulating the music via the sensors from the vehicle mm -hmm. so it's a lot of brainiac dumb dumb yeah, yeah. scientific <laughs> That's a that's a master ace lyric. <laughs> that's that's some brainiac dumb dumb bust a scientifical to make sound drive a reality. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that is freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking stupid fresh. <laughs> that is stupid fresh, bro. And I can't wait to see what other artists, little bells and whistles and tricks and nuances, well, how they imagine that yeah. now you know what's possible. Why does, why yeah. does a song have to be, okay, at this part, 14 bars in, I'm gonna do this, and then after, four, after the chorus comes, and then after the chorus is the bridge. Like, why does that have to be 
the limitation of imagination when it comes to song creation. That is not good. This is the future. Yeah, yeah, because girls are players too. Wow, I did that. I did that for my turn. Have you already done a lot of driving? Oh. I guess how many miles have you have you driven yourself testing this? Like playing. So this? the week before CES, yeah, I was. I think I was averaging like four hours of sleep a night. Yeah. Because I was just driving nowhere, <laughs> just vibing out to freaking jams. Yeah. It, it, yo, it brings a whole new terminology to traffic jams. Because <laughs> I'm jamming, bro. Like, yeah, I'm jamming. Completely, completely. So, <laughs> have you have you been a car guy since you were a little kid? Is that has that been a thing for you? Is that a yeah? I've been I've been dreaming about customizing cars since I would say 14, 14 years. Okay. Because people in your neighborhood would come with like spoiler kits or. They would drop the car, put different rims on it, tint the windows. Hip hop was the entity that educated me on Mercedes. Yeah. All my favorite, you know, artists and heroes had Mercedes in their on their album covers. From Eric B and Rakim to EPMD, rappers rapping about Mercedes and AMGs. Hip hop was the signifier that said that having a Mercedes meant you graduated from poverty to wealth. Okay. It, they coined and stamped this car to be the symbol for us. And it's, a, it's an honor and a, and a dream come true to, uh, to be working with Mercedes this close when hip hop educated me on the beauty of the product. <laughs> yo, the turn? Come on, yo. Get out of here. Turning is awesome. <laughs> it's it's an extra dimension to the drive, right? Because, so I spend my whole life driving. I'm always going to somewhere, driving nice roads, having fun, enjoying cars. But this is like, forget just putting on a song. This is the song involving with what you're doing. This is that feeling of... It's like it's like going from 3D to 4D, right? It's another it's another yeah. step up. It's another involving experience. The song becomes the experience. The song becomes what you're living and driving, and what you're conducting, as you said. Yeah. You're literally conducting as you go. I think one of the interesting things is obviously we're in an electric car right now, right? But this is also in combustion engine AMG. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting how the music links also to the engine sound. But one of the big things with this is this is a way of actually making the drive because a lot of people have toyed with electrical sounds and things in electric cars don't know how much time you've spent in different mm -hmm. things but sometimes it's a bit fake and over the top and stupid but this feels like something that's not trying to make an electric car sound like a combustion engine car it's what you just said right it's something totally new it's like start the record book again begin from the top we're back at base then and this this is like a crazy next generation of it all where where things are going like you're saying to discover what other people do what 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 are the kind of cars that get your heart racing? Car, what, what, what are you driving now? I know I know you've I, probably got some AMGs in the garage. My favorite car right now is my uh, my two thousand and uh, nineteen GT sixty three. Yeah, the, uh, four door. No, the two the two. Oh, two door. GT R. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's my favorite. I'm a big AMG GT guy. Got a few of those. And then my second favorite car is the EQS. Okay. I like driving that at night. Yeah. Just the way, a version of this. Right? Yeah, hyper screen and all the yeah, displays. That's uh, my, my other favorite car. The G-Wagon is, is fun yep. on the weekends. I can't wait for the electric though. Yeah. So I could go crab walking. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning on the spot and all sorts of crazy things. Yeah, I can't wait for that. The GTR is the perfect yep. sports car. Yeah. Like, but then you're, you're you know, a practical car to drive every day. Yeah. But then if I really wanted to go like, you know, psycho loco, it, it's psycho loco <laughs> <laughs> You know? The, have, the, have you ever turned the drift toggle and put it into the uh, sliding mode? Yeah, but why do I want to go sliding? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, but do I really want to go sliding around? Like, It's fun. It's fun, but I'm, I'm a safe, I mean, it, it, it may look like I drive Psycho Loco, but I'm, I'm a, I don't drive Psycho Loco all the time. 
<laughs> it's yeah. about having fun. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you, this. Thank you so Fabulous much. to meet you. Thank you for taking me out for the uh, the run to, to see Sound Drive. Thank you, bro. And congratulations on getting it launched. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. What a ride that was with Will I Am to experience this, to meet that guy, absolute legend of so many different industries. Of course, music, also on television, also all of the different tech projects he gets involved with, including this. But having experienced it from the passenger seat before the sun completely sets here over the Las Vegas Strip, I think I need to go and hop into the driver's side to try and give you an impression of what this is actually like to drive with for the first time. Let's do it, let's head on out. This is the process then, start the car, sound drive loads. We have the default song at the moment, Imagine. So at this second we're in park, everything's completely silent. This is getting ready. Let's play so that this is on and we're gonna have some music. So this is idle. When you go into gear, pace picks up ever so slightly. When you turn the wheel, you get a change of tune. When you press the throttle, of course you can hear the beat. You can hear things starting to happen. A bit of traffic to move away from CES, as you can imagine. But as soon as we turn onto the Las Vegas Strip here, things start to get a bit more lively. And it's hard to really explain this because it's not a, familiar sensation, hearing music responding to your inputs. You know, as we build up the speed, the pace builds up. As we come down towards a stop again, it calms, it relaxes, and it drops back to its idle sound. It's not like a traditional song, a traditional four minute record. It is very much about the sounds responding to the inputs, about it being the sensors that dictate the music. It's not four minutes, it could be 40 minutes, it could be four hours, depending where you're driving, or until the time you wanna change it to the next track, the next file, the next bit of music. I'm not quite sure how to describe that. A very unfamiliar sensation. But when you're just chilling, it's calming, it's soothing. And of course, you can change this and have any different type of music, and there'll be so many things that are created very, very quickly, I'm sure to make the most of this, to optimize this concept, this idea. But it's a really strange feeling. <laughs> That's all I can say at the moment. And I actually tell you what else is strange. The fact that I've just been up and down the strip in a car with Will I Am. <laughs> if you had told me that when I was at the O2 back in 2010, I did not think that would happen in the future. You feel where this is going. I like that flow, you know, when you're in the flow and you've got the rhythm and you've got the music and you've got the vibe. And of course, we're here with traffic in Las Vegas. This is one of the worst places and probably one of the worst times of days to now be demonstrating this. But I love how it reverts back to that chill feeling. I'd be really interested to know what this is like when you're driving on a mountain road, because as Will demonstrated, when doing a U-turn, it gets massively more lively. There are all sorts of different levels and things happening in the music. and in a straight line, you're not necessarily getting all of that. Um, just as soon as you even go gently on the throttle, there's like a reverb, a low frequency sound that you get with that, which maybe doesn't come across on the video or on the, on the microphone in the same way. But this is quite a strange feeling, quite a strange feeling. It's also, I think, my first time driving an EQE 53. I've driven the EQE, the base or maybe the 300 but not a 53 so small little experience of what this is about uh, without going very far unfortunately alas there's not a whole lot i can do but just enjoy where we are at the moment enjoy the las vegas boulevard <laughs> i'm on a like high that i don't know how to explain listen to that the way the beat kicks in as you start to speed up and knowing that that's the response to what I'm doing. In some ways it's like almost a background bit of music that you have playing that you quickly forget it's on when you're idling and just sitting at a traffic light or something like that. It's almost like nothing's happening. Throw it into a U-turn. Love that. The higher pitch sounds that you get. And then we come back towards the stop again. This is a very strange sensation, but I think what's probably most impressive with it is the concept of the technology and what this can now be used for and how people will grow, go on to create new genres of music and how they could use this 
and let the imagination run wild. And obviously this is just the start. This was Will I Am's idea, he said two years ago, to bring it through to now fruition, locked in, ready to go into production cars in a couple of months time. So in only six months or so, it will be possible to do this. And you know, in these cars, obviously incredible Burmester sound systems, to have the 4D sound experience as well with the seat upgrades like in the EQS, this is really going to be quite the immersive driving experience. I think it's interesting from another pop point of view of if you know the car is going to respond to more aggressive steering and throttle inputs, perhaps encourage you to drive a little bit more aggressively because you want to hear it, you want to feel it, you want to be more part of it. So I'm not entirely sure how, how that all plays together but I love the idea of it. Once you just start almost living with it a little bit more, once you're just driving with it, going about your daily business and enjoying this in the background and putting on whichever tune it might be that you wanna have, what you wanna to listen to, to be able to have that extra dimension from a vehicle that remember, particularly in the world of electric vehicles, it wouldn't have had to begin with. So although this is in combustion engine AMGs as well, it's more the idea, I think, that in an electric car, don't try and make a fake noise generator that sounds like the combustion engine equivalent. Make something that's totally different to give the driver that feeling of something happening in a way that's very special, unique to it, if we go around. It's really cool the way it does that. Very, very cool. I guess I best get back. I think they need this car for whatever's coming up next. In the car, I wanna show you this. I don't know if it makes a difference which drive mode you're in. Obviously pop it up into Sport Plus, which gives you more of the sound we're familiar with from before. But literally, let's say you were at home. This is where you just go into media, sound drive is one of the options, Bluetooth, smartphone, online, or there, playlists. And this could literally pull up anything, right? So if we go to Imagine, that then loads, so it's got the track set up and literally we're in park right now this is playing if i put the volume up a touch if i go on the throttle pedal i'm not sure if you can hear that completely i think we'd need to be in drive i think you have to be moving to actually get the the sound inputs but super easy to activate and obviously just runs away in the background like that anyway into park switch it off and just like your normal music, normal songs, obviously that turns off and back to the real world. This all happened incredibly quickly. You have no idea from arriving here to will I am arriving, to hopping in the car, to going straight on out, to getting back, having a quick opportunity to go and try it for myself. But I hope this has been an interesting demonstration of the MBUX sound drive. I have absolutely loved every second of being able to meet will I am to learn a little bit of what's going on inside his head when it comes to these types of things, when it comes to the different projects he's worked on, the Will I AMG project, and of course, the AMGs that he has in his fleet, in his lineup, some of which we share in common, of course, as it happens as well. That's been interesting. That's been really, really interesting. So a big thanks to the team from Mercedes-Benz in Germany, obviously Mercedes-AMG as well, both back at base and out here in the United States for the opportunity to be, I think, one of the very first in the world to share this with you, with Will I Am, the new MVUX sound drive. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it's all been so quick, sporadic, spontaneous, all over the place, but sometimes you just gotta roll with it. That's it for now though, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.